I'm at Fable Diner and Bar. Let's go on a food adventure. All right, so I'm at the Fable Diner and Bar, which formerly is the Kingston Pub. This is the second location for Fable. Um, I've been slacking on the patty pass. Uh, out of the possible 13 burgers, I've only had two. So I'm getting better on that. Thank you. Oh, that's good. I see we have a patty pass over here. Yes. Uh, can I use that? Yeah, of course. You'll patty pass. Burger today. Can I get the pub burger? Oh, good choice. That's my favorite. Yeah, that because that one looks really interesting. Yeah. But I'll also get um, some wings. What's the chef's feature wings today? Guinness Barbecue. I'll, I'll do that too, the happy hour wings. For sure. So pub burger, do you want fries, poutine, soup salad? Ooh, uh, I think I'll stick with the... Um, what kind of salad do you have? We have a kale Caesar and we also have our house salad. Which is just like a mixed blend of... Uh, I'll, I'll just stick with the fries. Okay, yeah, so cup right. and fries and Guinness barbecue wings. Did you want any dipping sauce for the wings? Or the I think I'm alright. Okay, okay, I'll get that set of you. Thank you. All right, no talk, only eat. All right, so I gotta be honest for my review for the food at Fable Diner and Bar. It was uh, very average, to be honest, uh, almost bordering on very plain. Uh, the chicken wings are very expensive. They're normally $14, you get seven wings or so. Uh, I got a happy hour price, so $10. Um, very small portion, very generic wings. Uh, they're really dry, they're just deep fried chicken wings with some sauce. Something you'd get, uh, you know, it just, it was just like really like plain. They were just like really dry and small. Uh, but I wasn't there for the wings though, I was there for the burger. So the pub burger, uh, it sounds good in theory, it looks good, but it just, a lot of the elements just didn't really um, mesh well together, if, if that makes any sense. Uh, it's mostly slaw, onion, barbecue sauce, beef, cheese, and pork belly. Uh, so none of those elements really sort of like get together. And, and harmonize in any perfect way. It just, it was really big. You get a big burger, uh, you get a lot of French fries, or you can sub it for a house salad or pay for kale Caesar. But yeah, the burger just sort of like, it, it was a little bland. And you know, it, I was expecting something a little bit better because uh, the burger at um, Poor House has pork belly on theirs, but it, it was definitely built differently. So, um, you know, I'm not, the, the food was just okay. Uh, they have a pretty big menu though. They have other sides, they have other burgers, they have smash burger, happy hour, they do brunch. But uh, a lot of the reviews recently, they're a very new restaurant, so I've never been to the Kitsilano location, so there might be some growing pains. So I wouldn't say to, you know, write it off completely, but I just, I wasn't impressed.